Hello everyone, welcome back to the garden. This is kind of a little surprise, so I thought I'd make a video on it. These are pawpaw seeds, which germinated in this container of dirt. And I'm showing this because at the beginning of the year, so actually going back to last fall, we had picked a bunch of pawpaws and decided to try to germinate the seeds. So we put them in the fridge, cold stratified them, did all of that. But then when I was planting the garden, I just didn't have room in any of my pots for these things. So I originally put them in this bin. It got knocked over, sat in the sun for about a week, and I thought, well, they're probably all dead. But I just put them back in there, set them aside in the sun for the last month and a half. Today I was digging through and quite a few of them have germinated, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is plant them in this pot and see how they do. So pretty much did everything wrong with these other than cold stratifying them and they definitely dried out in the sun before they germinated. They definitely were in very heavy soil, thin soil. This is just a seed starting tray with some extra mix. You can see some of the tap roots unfortunately broke off as I was digging around in here to get the seeds out. Um, not all of them germinated, but we did get quite a few. So. Um, I hadn't planned to get any based on what happened this year. We were just busy with other things. So we're going to pot these up in here and we'll see how they grow. The way I look at it, if we get one, that's a huge bonus because I didn't think we'd get any. So um, germinating pawpaw seeds, as long as you cold stratify them, keep them moist, keep them warm, they will work. So what I'm going to do to plant these is I'm just going to come over, kind of make a hole with my finger in the potting mix because these tap roots are kind of delicate. Gently set it down and just bury it. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know if it's right or not. We'll find out. Just don't want to break the tap root. And these are obviously planted close together in here. They're not going to stay in this bin. What I'll do is, depending on how many actually grow into little trees, I'll split them out this fall or next spring into their own individual pots. Those tall, um, those tall root pots that you usually see with pawpaws. If you buy little seedling trees, they're in the really tall skinny pots. I'll get some of those if they... Oh, see that one broke off. I'm not too worried about it. We have an abundance of them. We have seven pawpaw trees growing in the yard as it is, so these are actually going to be for a future planting that we do on a piece of land to create a little pawpaw orchard. So if they grow, it's just a nice bonus. But these pawpaw trees are pretty hardy. We found that out throughout the years. I, I mentioned in the last video the last pawpaw video how we transplanted the seeds or not the seeds, the seedlings they're a pretty tough tree the one thing you will notice they do not like dry they like to be wet not necessarily flooded wet but moist so when they're young you want to water them but look at the taproot on these things we get one. Even just a little seed, that taproot's probably four inches long already. These things get really, really long, really thin roots. That's what makes transplanting them difficult. You gotta be really careful. The roots are a lot like a citrus root. If you've ever had a citrus tree, they kind of remind me of like a lemon root. They smell similar. If you accidentally break the root when you're transplanting, it'll smell kind of like a lemon tree. To me, anyway have that same kind of quality, the roots. They're very soft, so you have to be very careful. We're just dropping them in. Bury them. Again, who knows if this will work? It should. They're definitely sprouting, so... I'm not worried about crowding them. It's so like I said, I'll just separate them. Assuming any come up. This is just a pot that we had extra anyway, so... These didn't get the premium treatment this year that I had expected to give them. <clears throat> Just got busy with other things mostly. 
and yet they still germinated. And so I guess the moral of the story is if you really take care with them and follow all the instructions, you should have very good luck because I did basically everything wrong with these and still we have a look at the taproot on that one. It's a monster. I'm just digging maybe with my finger maybe six inches because I don't want to break the root. I'm just get down there as far as I can, set it in, and then just bury it. And we'll see how they do. But there you go. Even if you do everything wrong, literally. I left these and just didn't expect anything and look we have they're just all over the place we have so many of them they're tougher than you think so there we go we're gonna give them a good watering water them in some of them didn't germinate but that's okay so thank you for watching we'll definitely do an update video later in the summer and see how these things grow